So recently, this YouTuber named Anthony roasted my portfolio site. When I mean roasted, like he destroyed, hurt my feelings, attacked me. I might be exaggerating so you can see the rest of the video, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out. He did this video called uh, Roasting Your Dead Portfolio Sites. I submitted my portfolio and I was surprised to see that I was second to be reviewed on his YouTube video. Now, the YouTube video is the nice, fast paced, edited one, but I wanted us to react to his live stream together. It's going to be short and sweet. He gave me some good tips on how I can improve my portfolio, and I think it'd be very helpful for you guys as well. And let's be honest, we've upgraded, lads. Chat, we've upgraded. We're doing reactions now. I never thought after 17 years of being a YouTuber that this is where we'd get to. Shout out to all the subscribers. God bless you. May the Lord Jesus bless you. Let's get into it. Next one, Rasmic. Actually, wait, before I even react to it, and by the way, ladies and gents, or should I say three ladies and gents, I have not planned this video at all. I just thought let's react to it. So I'm going to put on my headphones. Uh, but I'm not going to plug my headphones because I want to act like I have a cool setup and you can hear the audio and I can hear the audio as well. So without further ado, let's react to it. Uh, cool. Full stock engineer and YouTuber. Oh, dude, we have another YouTuber here. Come on, man. Let's go ahead and check now, out. The question is, did he subscribe? Okay. If I'm somebody that is... Rec he did not subscribe. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get him next time. Recruiting, and I see you make like videos like this. In my opinion, I think that's a, a like a plus. It shows like you're interested in other um, in other like areas of programming other than just like working, and getting a job. Um, it pretty much shows like that you're interested in actual programming outside of the job. Which a lot of people go into programming because they're interested in the money, but showing that you like do this as a hobby for fun, like outside of it, and you're active with it, um, it's not like deprecated. I love this already. Chat. One thing I will say. And all seriousness, like all jokes aside, is if you can, I would highly suggest you create content showcasing the skills that you have. Like, forget about going viral or gaining subscribers, all that stuff. That's good to do. Like, you know, if you do YouTube, might as well grow. But the simple fact of having a YouTube channel and showcasing the stuff that you know, believe me, tremendously helps because recruiters will be stalking you. And when they search your name, when they go on your LinkedIn or whatever social media platform and they see that you do content on the very thing they're trying to hire you for, chef's kiss. But let's continue. Um, I'm a big fan. Like as a recruiter, that's something I wouldn't be able to get from a resume. So this is really helpful. That. Um, you have your email right here. I do. I like this um, a lot. YouTube channel. Okay, you mentioned it again. Uh, what is this? Starter kit, oh, baby. Interesting. You have your own like actual site, and this is this site is like quite nice and well done. I love this. Appreciate that. Um, okay, going back to the portfolio site. Maybe I should zoom out again. Um, past projects and startups, freelance work. If you have work history, I would love to see that. Now, here's one thing I purposely left out, uh, like my work history, frankly, because I built this portfolio site more so for like my community for like dev Twitter versus for getting a job. Um, like I don't I don't think I'd submit this portfolio as my like job getting portfolio. I just made it as a central hub for all things that I'm working on and have worked on. Um, and I do do freelance work. So I guess this resume also helps with res. I call it resume. This portfolio also helps with that. But I never intended it for it to be like the thing I used to get a job. Hence why my real name is not even there. I, I hope, you know, Ross Mike is not my real name. Right. My name is Michael. Um so that's kind of like my positioning for it. But I, I do agree, like there would have to be some sort of work history where I'm currently working and all that type of stuff if I wanted to use this as a tool to get a job. It's also kind of interesting. You have more socials at the bottom here when you already had socials at the top. Purely for flexing reasons. I saw a cool doc component. I just wanted to add it. Is it useless? Yes. Is it cool? Yes. Um. I would say you have so much unused horizontal space. If you put like social links on the right side and you had it scroll as you scroll, that would be cool. Let's see how this looks on mobile. Optimized, Pretty good. baby. Um, overall, uh, this this feels like really cool. Um, and you're quite active on coding. 
Come on, man. Look at that GitHub right there. And you know what? Those contributions would be past 3,000 if I didn't delete some projects. I didn't know when you delete them, you lose your contribution. So I goofed there. Big mistake. It is what it is. But hey, we're out here. Yeah. Overall, I think this feels like extremely cool as a... Uh as a portfolio site. It's like simple, it's clean, it's easy to read. It gives me more information about what you do um, outside of like what a resume or a job. App now, it's not all praise. He will cook me in a second. And I do think he brings some valid points. Application uh, would would do. Um, so overall, I think, I think this is actually quite a nice, quite a nice thing. Uh, let's see what happens when you click on some of these. Interesting. Wow. I love the animation and stuff you have on your site. Appreciate that, gang. Um, this is really cool. Overall, overall really cool. Cool. Yeah. I Okay. So in terms of hireability, I think this, like, if I saw this and I was a recruiter or I was an engineer looking at your thing, this would actively, within 10 to 20 seconds of looking at this, increase my odds of hiring you. Uh, 100%. I'm going to go ahead and give this like an, a 9. The only thing that I think could be improved is I would like to know a couple more things about you. Um, where are you based in? Uh, what is Toronto. What is your work history? How long have you been doing this? These are some things that I know I could probably get from your resume and stuff like that. But uh, just as like a one-time glance thing, even if you had like a little location pin somewhere of like what country you're in, um, maybe what like uh, I know you're a full stack engineer, but maybe like how long you've been doing it? What companies have you worked in in the past? That would be extremely helpful. Now I will agree, chat. Everything that he's saying is facts. But again, I built this portfolio more to just be a, a hub for all the things I'm working on and have built, versus for it, for it to be a tool to be used uh, to get a job, right? Um, but yeah, 100%, you got to include your work history, how long you've been doing this, uh, where you're currently located. But I 100% agree with him that if I wanted this to be uh, a tool to get a job, I need to add these things. So great points on Anthony. Also, a link to your uh, LinkedIn. So um, I would give you a nine. It's just missing some small things like that. And in terms of aesthetic, it's minimal, beautiful, easy to navigate through. Um, I do wish maybe there was a bit more um, distinction upon these things everything sort of looks the same so it's kind of hard to d distinguish between like what is a personal project versus what is this like for example like is this something that you've just created and it's a SaaS, or is it like a landing page for a SaaS? um what technologies did you use to build some of these how long did you work on them when did you work on them when did you create them how long have you been working on these things i wish there was a bit more information about some of these instead of just linking straight to them uh so maybe even like some small tags down here about like um you know, what technologies you use, as well as like when you worked on it and stuff like that. And, and that would be a perfect place to place badges. Again, to me, this is like a giant link tree that I built, but I actually do want to add some of the things he said, because it just makes sense, right? Adding some sort of badges, maybe having some sort of differentiation between the stuff I've already worked on and no longer maintain versus the stuff I'm currently working on. And, so, and whether or not facts. you're still working on it uh, would give me a good idea. So overall for Ecstatic, I'm going to give this an eight. Um, we'll take it. And then in terms of creativity, I think this is quite well done. Honestly, I haven't seen something that it, it sort of reads like a, a, a vertical resume, but it's also like quite unique with like the social card up here and stuff like that. Um, and the uniqueness doesn't detract away at all from the actual fundamentals of uh, looking at this. So I'm going to go ahead and give this like probably a seven uh, on creativity as well. Obviously, like it could have been like a lot more like crazy and stuff like that like maybe if you added like one of those like cool animations that you have like over here to this like border maybe like to, to this border or something although i'm not sure if that would like distract or something but um so chat that's basically it he roasted my portfolio site i think he gave some good pointers uh one thing i do want to do right away is add some badges at the bottom maybe add that like nice effect i have on sahafi and my starter kit on this card i also want to make this thing clickable you notice how the image like has this like glaring effect i want to make it clickable and then like a card pops up um just so you know just to show off some animation skills but yeah 
Let me know if you enjoyed that video. I really appreciate Anthony for roasting my portfolio site. I definitely plan on making it better. Let me know if you enjoy this type of content. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We finally made it. We're reacting to videos. God did. Jesus did. You guys have an amazing day or night. It's your boy, Mike. Peace.